The best part of the whole experience was um, very early morning on the Jamboree site. I'd get up very early to make sure that our patrol had food and in the mornings it'd be cooler but still light. Uh, most people would be asleep but there's still people rustling around. But it'd be quite quiet, nice and cool and you can just see all the camps and all the flags and all the flagpoles. It's just a sea of flagpoles of different flags from all over the world. And it's, uh, it's quite beautiful. For me, the best part of uh, the three weeks in Japan was the Jamboree itself. Um, it was just like going to another country, uh, well, another world, basically. It's like a little village. The Jamboree could be anywhere in the world, really. It could be in Japan, it could be in America. It doesn't matter where it is. Um, it's the same, really. Um, all that matters is the climate. That's all that changes, really. You just get to see loads of people, meet them everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, so everybody's in a good mood. Everybody will say hi to you, give everybody a high five. It's just a fantastic place to be and um, it really was just probably one of the best 10 days of my life. It was uh, an extremely, uh, extremely happy experience for me. Um, to pick a single highlight from Japan itself would be an incredible, incredibly difficult thing to do. I mean, obviously, the whole three weeks was quite a euphoric time. It was really quite um, strange in a way to see that um, such um, a relatively short space of time could be filled with so much action and meeting so many different people. Um, but I'd say it's the people um, who were, for me, the highlight. The fact that there were so many different people from so many different countries, you could just go up to them, speak to them without any barriers, you just felt completely natural. You had the common ground of scouting, which would start off your conversation, and it was nice in a way to, um, on quite a level playing field, just to speak with people from all over, from countries maybe you'd not heard of before, and just see how uh, life is lived in their country, and to see how their culture differs from ours, and how scouting itself differs in their country, um, to how we carry out scouting in the UK. When you got there, it just beat everything that you thought it could be. It was quite different. Like, I, personally, I wasn't looking forward, forward to home hospitality, so I thought that would be the most challenging part of the Jamboree. But it was actually the most easy going one, because you actually got to experience Japanese culture and how nice everyone is over there. And it was just quite an easy thing to step into. It would already um, give you a bit of the Jamboree before you got onto the actual site, so it was quite... That was the bit that was less hyped, but the most enjoyable. I think the best part was just, it's like impossible to choose. I think every time I talk about the Jamboree, I'll, I'll be speaking to people about it. I remember something else that I've done. Oh, that was great. Oh, that was great. And then, so I think to say one thing that was like the best, I think it's genuinely impossible. Just because even though not everything was as good as the other, everything was different and still like breathtaking or really interesting in a different way.